Hey, good morning, drivers. Just uh, coming up here to post about what's going on out here in Washington, D.C. I brought a few of my friends as far as the eye can see all the way down the road there on both sides of the highway. We got pissed off truck drivers that are sick of freight rates where brokerage companies, shippers, and freight forwarders are making all of the profits when it comes to this industry. Drivers are tired where they can't make money. You have these little individuals that are in the trucking industry that may take a cheap load and that for some reason makes brokers and shippers think that they can pay any driver anything that they want. This has got to come to an end. It has to come to a stop. If truck drivers are heavily regulated, so should brokers. So should shippers. They all should be regulated just like truck drivers are regulated. If we have 11 hours to drive, then we're going to make sure that they are held at the same kind of responsibility that we are. This stuff in the trucking industry where guys are spending $1,800 a month in truck insurance, some, some guys $2,500 a month in truck insurance, another two grand and uh, truck payments and another seven or $800 in trailer payments a month, along with maintenance, repairs, and every other thing that comes down the pike. And brokers only have to have a $50,000 junk bond it, to operate and be part of this great industry that we're part of, then it's time for them to pay their fair share. The welfare is over. It's time for them to pay their fair share and stop being welfare recipients, making all the money on the backs of poor truck drivers that's just trying to make a living and trying to do the right thing by their family. This stuff has got to stop. This isn't going to be the last time that drivers are up here and dedicating our time to trying to make the trucking industry better. For you coward drivers that are up here on the page running your mouth saying that this isn't going to matter, it'll matter if you put your energy and effort towards things other than running off at the mouth saying something's not going to work. Just imagine all the people throughout the history would have took that approach that, hey, we can't do anything because nothing's ever gonna change. It wouldn't change if you don't do anything, you don't get off your ass and you have these same cowards out here hauling freight up and down the road for nothing. Again, this is just a little small protest and a little small way of letting our legislators and people of power know what's going on in the trucking industry. A lot of this stuff that these brokers, freight forwarders, shippers, lumpers, and everybody down the pike do, people are not aware of it. And the only way that they're ever gonna be not made aware of the things that go on in the trucking industry is if we tell them. But if you cowards are constantly quiet, putting your head down, and allowing this stuff to go on in the trucking industry, it's going to continue. Why would any broker, shipper, forwarder, or anybody else who's making the king's ransom off of our backs want you to protest, want you to say anything, want you to just be quiet and take it over and over and over and over again? It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous what goes on. But... Again, as long as I'm driving, as long as I'm out here, I've got plenty to say. And if you cowards that come on my page, say anything, take it to somebody else's page. I don't want to hear it. I'm just sick of it. You had cowards coming on here talking about, oh, somebody got on a pair of sweatpants. Like there isn't a driver out here who has driven in sweatpants, shorts, slippers sneakers cowboy boots what that got to do with you putting money in your pocket and bringing it home to support your family and keep your business going do you think this truck right here costs nothing 
I'm willing to bet this man is paying over two grand a month in truck payments. I'm willing to bet this man in front of him is paying over two grand in truck payments. Look at these trucks. These are independent owner operators, a mom and pop shop, individuals that are trying to make money to support their families. Nobody's out here price, price, price gouging or trying to call for something that we don't deserve. This shit doesn't cost a little bit of money. We had to put blood, sweat, and tears into this stuff to maintain this stuff, to keep up with federal regulations and DOT regulations. When a broker just sits there with a $250,000 junk bond that if he doesn't pay somebody, then the 20 or 30 or 50 or 60 drivers that he screwed over only has to come up he, he has to split that between the 50 or 60 drivers that he didn't pay. But yet still, drivers got a million dollars worth of insurance. And we got to have federal regulations and all kinds of things put upon us while they do nothing but suck the blood and life out of drivers. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. It's time for drivers to stand up and stop taking it. It just pisses me off every time I think about it. You got, you got all these brokerage companies. You got guys that get paid. And before you can get paid, hey, driver, you need fuel surcharge? Okay. Well, we're going to charge you 5% of what we charge you, even though we already screwed you out of 70%. Oh, you want your money? Quick. We're going to charge you another 5%. So by the time you get your pay, you're down to nothing. And you're looking and scratching your head like, man, I just worked my ass off and I didn't have a damn thing to show for it at the end. And it's just getting to the point where it's disgusting. Anybody out here that sees these trucks that are in shape, that guys are paying over 100 grand a year or paying over 100 grand for, and their, their trucks are in outstanding shape, looking good, clean, taking pride in their rides to make sure that freight gets up and down America's highways, running out here doing a pandemic where people don't even give us PPE gear, but we're supposed to be the frontline workers that's making sure that stuff gets down the road. But we're supposed to not get paid while some broker sits on his ass at home with his kids with a fax machine and three pieces of paper telling you that he's not going to pay you for what you're doing, but we're supposed to take it. And these dumbass drivers up here on this page saying something is not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right. It's not going to work that we're going to be quiet. Guys like these right here that have $110,000 worth of trucks sitting here where we pay out the ass for everything that we get. Now, we're not going to sit here and take it. If you want to sit your coward ass back and run your mouth about what drivers should be doing, sit back and be quiet and let grown men do their job. And that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Get off your ass. Go down to your local legislator's office. Make noise. Let people know what's going on in the trucking industry. People do not know what these guys are doing the outrageous amounts of money that they're charging us, the amount of time and energy that truck drivers put into this stuff, the kind of time and energy that our families put into this stuff, the danger that we bring up and down the road when we're hauling loads in the middle of the night when it's snowing, raining, and sleeping. This crap has got to stop. When it comes down to a driver making money I'm going to just show you a little picture of the White House. That's the White House. To let you guys know that we're here and we're looking out for the American truck driver. All these guys run their mouths and talk about, oh, drivers need to be quiet. Drivers need to not have anything. These guys don't have no cheap equipment. We have high dollar equipment. We keep our trucks in tip-top shape. Dealing with DOT, 
dealing with the registration, the regulations that the U.S. government puts on us. And we're sick and tired of not being able to be paid. At the end of the week, you've worked all week long and you've ran your ass off, did over 3,000 miles. And then you don't have anything to pay your bills, put your kids through school, pay your car payments, pay your mortgage. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting what goes on in this country. And nobody ever says anything. And drivers are tired. We're tired of it. We're gonna change things. We're gonna change things and it's gonna get done. And I just need real truck drivers to stand up. Real truck drivers to not take that cheap ass freight that somebody has it. By the time you get it there, you don't come out with $50. And you driving around with equipment like this. If you mess around and blow one tire, you mess around and something breaks on your truck and somebody comes out to fix your truck and they're charging you $75 an hour to leave out of their shop, repair your truck and continue to charge you $75 an hour until they get back to their shop along with whatever they fix. This stuff has got to stop. It really does. It has to stop. All this stuff with drivers not getting detention, brokers taking their detention, brokers deciding how things go in this industry. No, that's not the way it's gonna work no more. We're gonna take over trucking. And these guys that are cowards do not come on this page talking nonsense. We're just sick of it. We're just sick of the unfair treatment of truck drivers. Nobody out here has any equipment out here that's not in within regulations of DOT regulations. Nobody out here is spending less or not making the right amount of money that they should be. Again, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. You got one of the greatest nations in the world. But then when the, when the country needs somebody to come to her defense and move stuff, here are the guys right here that move it. Here they are right here. Every one of these guys out here running up and down the road, staying away from home, putting their family and their lives at harm's way, running down the road, making sure that you have something to eat, making sure that medical supplies are delivered, making sure that reefer trailers are sitting beside hospitals so that you can put bodies in and we haul them away. It's just absolutely ridiculous the amount of crap that drivers take and don't get paid for any of it. Just imagine if healthcare workers that worked in the hospital didn't get their PPE equipment. How do you think they got that? Yeah, somebody might have flew over to China to get it, but once it got there, who was standing at that tarmac to put it on the back of their truck and take it wherever it had to go? It was one of us. It was one of us who they don't even try to give any PPE equipment to. Don't try to make sure that a driver can be thought of as everybody else is thought of. We don't look for no, no, no attaboys and no pat you on the backs and thank you. All we're asking for is for an honest pay for an honest day of work. That's all we need. Honest pay for an honest day's work. All this nonsense has got to stop. All these shifty ass brokers that's sitting behind laughing at drivers who got equipment like that. Look at the equipment out here. Look at the trucks that are out here. $100,000 trucks out here that haul freight up and down the road for 50 cents. In some cases, 40 cents. The real dummies that do that. But it's absolutely ridiculous that guys are out here putting their lives in harm's way and daggone putting out that kind of money and trying to get freight up and down the highway so that everybody in the U.S. can get the things that they need. But yet and still, we run up and down the highway 
day after day, night after night, rain, sleep, or snow. We're better than the fucking mailman. The mailman don't have nothing on truck drivers. Rain, sleet, or snow, we laugh at that. We're pulling the 80,000 80, pound vehicles, houses, bridges, cranes, all kinds of equipment up and down the highway, whether it be flatbed, oversized load, refrigerated trailer, dry van, dry goods, any and everything that anyone has came on the back of one of these. And again, this stuff is not cheap. I'm willing to bet this is a $110,000, $120,000 tractor that we're looking at right now. Not only is it expensive, but this particular driver got a custom paint job and all kinds of fancy doodads and five inch stacks and everything else on his truck. But at the end of the week, he don't have any damn money to show his pride in what he does and people are just constantly taking it. Hey driver, go pick this load up. Telling you, oh, it's, it's, it's at this place or it's at that place. Then when you get there, it's at a different place. Or you get there and there's a hundred different things going on with the load that you never knew, but you, or you didn't tell us, but you knew was going on. Then when you ask for money in order to get paid for the things that you do, it's all oh, driver. I got to get the money for my customer. And when I get the money for my customer, I'll pay you back. And us drivers like little sheeps put our heads down and allow it to happen over and over and over and over again. It's just, it's just ridiculous that drivers putting out this kind of money and they're going at the end of the week, you've been gone seven days and at the end of the week, you have nothing to show for it. You go to the fuel station and you put over eight, $900 a fill up in your truck. And then you drive these mountainous areas with mountains and cliffs and everything else pulling 43, 45,000 pounds. And you're burning up all your fuel. And then you, uh, you got a, a sorry ass rate for what you did. And then at the end of the week, you have nothing, nothing. And you're just sitting there scratching your head. Why am I doing this? Why am I putting this kind of money into a dead ass industry? You want to know why? Because this is stuff that we love. I, when I say it every time I talk, I love this. I love being a truck driver. I love going up and down the road in the freedom of having my big truck behind me. My wheels shining and my truck clean. Me being clean, looking like a professional and acting like a professional. You guys don't take this industry serious. And you allow these clowns to constantly take and do whatever they want to do. When it's not their industry, it's our industry. We run this, not them. And it's time for you drivers to stand up. If there's any drivers that's in the local Washington, D.C. area, I want you to jump in your trucks right now and come on down by the Washington Monument. We're all lined up right in front of the White House or behind the White House. We're blowing our horns. We want everybody to hear us. I don't care if it's President Trump or President Trump's mama. I want it to be known that truck drivers are here and we're sick and tired of the nonsense that goes on in trucking.